Welcome! This video shows how to launch MP3, how to import raw data inside a MP3 project, and how to manage the database related to the project. First, let's add the MP3 source code to the MATLAB path, like this. Then, just type MP3 in the MATLAB command window to launch the main graphical interface. This graphical interface is the viewer of the software, where one can manage and view the content of a project. First, let's create a new project by selecting the folder to store it. Then, since the project is still empty, let's import data. For this video, we chose to import the raw data available on the software's wiki page. It is preclinical MRI images stored as Brucker data. To click on Import raw data launches the converter, able to convert several medical images formats like DICOM, Philips, Brucker, or Nifty, into a format composed of a Nifty file containing the image and a JSON file containing its related metadata. One need to select the type, here Brucker, and the folder containing the data to import. The converter then displays all the sessions available. Click on a session displays above the content. Here, one can see that four scans were acquired in this session. On the right, one can observe the metadata related to the scans. One can select the session or the scans to import, and then right-click and choose Add to Basket. Then, in the Basket tab, all the files about to be converted are listed. Click on Export to MP3 starts the conversion. Since we imported six sessions in this example, we need to set a subject name and a time point name for each one of them. All the scans acquired in the same session will share the same names. They will only differ by their sequence name. After that, the project and its related database are saved and one can close the converter. Now, let's manage our database. One can remove, copy or rename a scan by right-clicking on it and by selecting the adapted option. Here, since some scans were acquired before and after an injection of a contrast agent, I rename them to highlight this information. This renaming can be done individually or on the whole database thanks to an option inside the menu. One can see that the scans were renamed in all the sessions. Our database is now more consistent, and that will be a key step to apply complex pipelines. 
Thanks for watching. See you in the next video to improve your MP3 utilization.